it's our favorite time of year, the time when we figure out what the big tech trends and innovations are going to be in the year to come. And here, as always with us, Duncan Stewart from Deloitte Canada. Good to see you, Duncan. Good to be back once a year. It's sort of a Christmas tradition. It is. And you last year, you said 2023 is going to be all about AI. And at the time, we didn't really have a sense of what artificial intelligence was. But then along came ChatGPT and AI blew up. And you're saying there's going to be a lot more to come with AI next year. AI, the old joke, two years ago people didn't know how to spell it. Now we got that nailed down. Um, four big things for AI. One, chips, 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 chips. $50 billion plus of chips. One of the world's largest chip makers said, we think this is going to be a $150 billion market in three years. Oops, they made a mistake. They've taken it up to $400 billion. So chips software rules and regulations from the European Union and also private AI so that you can use it at work and not worry about your data going somewhere else. Duncan, as we turn our attention towards what's to come in entertainment, you're saying in 2024 we're going to see some more innovations in the world of streaming television. Yes, uh, remember the old Model uh, Ford, uh, the Model T Ford, you can have it in any color you want as long as it's black. <laughs> it's going to be the opposite for streaming. As a result of trying to meet every single kind of customer, you are going to see more and more options and tiers and bundles. In the United States, one of the big telcos announced they've got 12 different possible combinations. It's like they're reinventing cable TV over again, only with streaming. I wouldn't know anything about this. I only watch city TV personally. As all decent human beings do. 100%. Uh, women's sports getting bigger, and you're saying in 2024, going to get even more massive. 1.3 billion dollars this year that is three times higher than when we talked about it only a few years ago and this is at the elite level so women's sports is growing much much faster than men's sports off of a low base but getting to be a big thing security uh technological security always a big thing and you're saying next year we're going to see something more when it comes to our smartphone our smartphones keeping us safe Right now, you probably use your phone a lot to log into an account and somebody sends you a text and you type in four or six or eight it's numbers. It's annoying and it's expensive and it's slow. There's a new technology called passkeys, now supported by all of the smartphone OSs, that allows you to use your face or your fingerprint to unlock your phone and yes, get into your account without passwords but also unlock your car, your building, and in the future, Denmark already does this, driver's license and passport on your mm. phone. Is there any security risks with that though? It's, there's a security risk with everything. Yeah. It is more secure than password one, two, three. Which is the most common password, I think. Now that I <laughs> think about it, yes. You got me excited as you always do about the year to come. Thank you, Duncan Stewart, Deloitte Canada, Tech Trends. Thanks for having, thanks Th for being here. Thanks for having me on.